Hi, my name is Dimitri, and welcome to the Seriously Good Movies. What makes a good movie good? Of course, a good movie is a subjective category. To me, however, there is one criterion that matters the most. Me personally, I enjoy movies that make me want to think. Movies that do not offer an immediate explanation and do not treat their viewers as children. On this channel, I will be talking about serious and deep cinema, or at least films I find deep. The story that we will look at today leaves one with questions and creates a thought-provoking aftertaste. It starts off quite simple and unimaginative. It's set in the 1980s and follows a middle-class family that moves from New York to rural Surrey in England. Rory O'Hara, a financial trader by occupation, is not happy with how his career is being evolved in the US. He convinces his wife Allison to move their family to England, as he hopes that things will get better there. Allison reluctantly agrees, and they eventually settle in a huge old mansion in Surrey. Things seem to go along nicely at first. Their two children, Samantha and Benjamin, are sent to expensive private schools, and Allison who used to teach horseback riding back in the States, is convinced by Rory that she can start her own horse farm in Surrey. But of course, a compelling story wouldn't be interesting if not for the conflict, so the conflict appears. Their English life turns out to be not all that perfect. Kids are having a hard time to adjust, with Benjamin getting picked on at school and Samantha being estranged from her mother. Allison is learning that her husband hasn't paid the workers for the construction of the horse stable. Slowly but surely, it is revealed that Rory is financially broke. His swagger, his confidence, his whole persona is starting to crumble and now Allison is able to see the real Rory. Now she can see her husband in a new light. At this point, Allison has no choice but to pick up a job as a farmhand at the local farm, while Rory is trying to patch things up at work and get a new client. Things are getting out of hand and reach its emotional peak when Allison confronts and humiliates Rory in front of his potential clients at the restaurant. Having achieved the crescendo of their disagreement, it becomes even more interesting to follow the resolution of the couple's story. Now at this point you have probably guessed that the movie is not going to spoon feed you with the quote unquote correct resolution to their problems. The movie makes you wonder how one would act in their shoes. What is the right response to conflict in families? Who's more guilty and who's less? And what I like the most in this story, that it creates a clear and cohesive world where answers to difficult problems do not just appear from thin air because the plot needs to keep going. As opposed to most modern Hollywood movies that are predictable and formulaic, The Nest spends time to really explain its characters. It gives them space to fully open, which also doesn't feel forced. Along with the beautiful setting of rural England, we get deep and complex characters. Even with somewhat trivial story, at least at the first sight, the director and the actors were able to create a realistic and sad atmosphere of human everyday struggle. Whether it's an adult seeking financial independence or a teenager trying to seamlessly blend in the new society. Needless to say, Jude Law and Carrie Coon are brilliant in this film. They are a delight to watch. They understand their characters to the fullest. They are what we are. They are people who fight for approval from their peers, who think they understand their spouses and their close ones, when in reality, they might not. Who maybe sometimes think that hard problems require simple fixes. Who just as we are sometimes feel alienated from even our own family. My name is Dimitri and this was the Seriously Good Movies. Thank you for watching.